Hi, this is Norm from Regency Design and Build. I am going to go into more detail now about a second floor laundry room, which was not here before. So come on in. So this used to be a little storage room, but there were some cabinets up here. There was no water. There was no electrical. We started from scratch. So. You never know what you're getting into until you get into it. And what I don't like doing is making a bunch of holes all over the house. So it was unbelievable. We managed to get all the electrical and plumbing here. And we'll do another video on that. I'll show you how we brought the plumbing and the electrical up here. So for obvious reasons, the customer who are just moving into this house wanted a second floor laundry room. Um, they came from another house which was in the basement and they really didn't want to have anything in the basement nor did they want anything on the first floor. This was actually a perfect fit. So we have to bring everything from scratch here and another thing that we like using are these built-ins. You have the built-in drain, you have the built-in uh, shutoffs for the hot and cold and it really makes for a very easy hookup instead of having your shutoffs come out of the wall. Very clean. So another issue that we had here that we needed to take care of was when we took out the old cabinets, there was this huge hole on the floor. So we had to structurally fix this floor to make sure the washer and dryer would be stable when set, you know, when it was sitting on here once we set it up. And it's very, very strong. And like I said, we actually brought everything up brand new. We, we use the PEX-A system, which is a very strong system. It's supposed to be great under uh, very cold temperatures, although that's not an issue in our situation. And another thing that I'm very careful about, and anybody having a second floor laundry room should very strongly consider this, is we put in a, a floor drain. We're actually gonna put a little curb on here so if anything ever happens with the washing machine or, or really the utility tub, it's not going over the floor, it's not going into the room below, which happens to be the kitchen, it's gonna go down the drain. So I highly recommend you always put in a floor drain when you have a second floor laundry room. And there you have it. I'm Norm from Regency Design and Build. Thank you for watching my video.